the ASAP funded study is to investigate the role of uh, immune dysregulation in Parkinson's disease um, pathophysiology in the, in the context of uh, gene alterations that uh, link um, Parkinson's and cancer. Um, Parkinson's and cancer are, are very different uh, disease entities. Parkinson's is characterized by uh, premature cell death, dopamine producing neurons in the brain uh, to be specific. And cancer is characterized by uncontrolled cell growth. Uh, however, Parkinson's and cancer are also associated. They can in fact be caused by the same gene alterations and they both, um, they both have um, immune dysfunctions. And cancer occurs when the immune system fails to safeguard and uh, immune therapy has been revolutionizing um, cancer treatment. And meanwhile, there's also a growing appreciation that uh, um, immune dysregulation may play an important role in Parkinson's. So we brought together a team of uh, experts in the fields of uh, Parkinson's and cancer. Uh, we will apply uh, the knowledge gained from cancer research to understand uh, how the genetic connections between Parkinson's and then cancer alter natural response to immune attack and how that may lead to death of uh, dopamine producing neurons in the brain and uh, cause Parkinson's. So the study focuses on the basic biology. Uh, it is highly translational. First, the findings of the project will help better understand uh, common molecular mechanisms underlying Parkinson's and cancer. How the interplay between genetic changes and uh, the immune system can lead to Parkinson's. Uh, secondly, uh, it will open an avenue for application of approaches to modulate the immune environment or, or microenvironment to prevent or even reverse degeneration of um, dopamine producing cells and uh, benefit Parkinson's patients. And particular immune related molecules pathways identified from the study may become new therapeutic targets for Parkinson's. And we will employ immune approaches that are either already developed in cancer or will jointly develop new approaches uh, to target the molecules and pathways for improved treatment of Parkinson's. And finally, our effort in bridging uh, Parkinson's and cancer will bring awareness to patients with a one condition and their doctors uh, for better surveillance prevention and uh, early treatment of the other condition. Uh, we have learned a great deal from our collaborations with the cancer researchers. We started with uh, Parkinson's and melanoma, which is uh, the deadliest skin cancer. Parkinson's patients are more likely to develop melanoma, and the melanoma patients are uh, at a high risk of developing Parkinson's. Both melanoma and Parkinson's are linked to a pigmentation gene called MC1R. We worked with a, a melanoma research group led by Dr. David Fisher here at uh, Mass General Hospital. And Dr. Fisher's group identified a uh, central role of MC1R in melanoma genesis. And we borrowed the sophisticated tools from Dr. Fisher's study, including red-haired mice uh, bearing non-functional MC1R gene. And we found that uh, uh, the normal function of the gene is also required for dopamine producing cells in the brain. Uh, we are learning more and more from cancer research. <laughs>